Welcome back for another episode of Strive for 25. Joel Farrell here, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you our guest. Joel, I was talking to someone the other day. It was another it was another client of mine, and you know, they were asking me about the you know social media and how you grow, and you know, what are some of the things that I do to help clients grow, and I brought up you, and I was telling them about how you know having consistency on a platform. I mean, why you started this platform or you started like really diving in back in September. And I was kind of like about less than six months ago. Right. And you have consistently put out content every single day, you know, regardless of the quality of the content, you've still put it out there with your message and you're just getting the message out there. And it just goes to show that with consistency, you truly can grow on a platform and get your message out there. You just, you got to be consistent with it. Yeah. I mean, a hundred percent. We, so the first day we started posting on Instagram was July 12th and zero followers. And yep. within a week, a couple, a couple, 10, 20 by a month, I think we're at a couple hundred followers maybe. And just slowly, but surely you know, knocking thing, knocking down doors and, meeting more people online and, and engaging and, uh, like your podcast, your podcast is really taking off right now. Like the connections that you've started to make with the podcast, like just, you know, people don't talk enough about the podcast community and how big it is and how like willing people are to just get on your podcast and just talk about what they do best. You know, I feel like that's really led to like, one connection after another. And the next thing you know, there's like people coming out of the woodworks, just talking to you about stuff. And that's, what's so cool about this. You know, my day job is mortgage, right? We're doing social media, you know, the, the podcast about investing and building wealth and the little things. And also the social media part of it too. And so I've had, you know, um, people reach out about commercial lending, residential lending, but do I buy, do I sell people asking me about, podcasts like I have my cousin reached out to me he just started his own podcast and asking me questions and and people asking me about social media how did you do that traffic how did you do that thing it's like well you know two two days ago I wouldn't I couldn't have told you but I just learned and I did it and I figured it out and literally just doing it like there's no shortcuts in in this in this game you do it and you do it and you learn just rinse and repeat and just it's a constant uh, process even if it's like, even if it's just like trial and error, like sometimes that's what you have to do to figure out like your own strategy, because let's be honest, there are a thousand different strategies out there. It's just finding the one that fits you best and fits your platform and your audience best, like to be completely honest, but it's just, it's crazy. And our goal is 10,000 downloads by the end of the year. We got to make it happen. <laughs> thousand downloads on the podcast by the end of the year and and you know we started in september we're doing two a week um and i don't know it's just it's just a matter of time we'll, you know yep. more people people are uh, engaging and it's been some pretty good feedback and also some constructive feedback and um but yeah it all just kind of reciprocates all, all of it kind of ties in together um, yeah it does. like i said it's just one thing happens and the next thing you know, you've made this connection and you've made this connection. And it's just like a snowball effect. And that's how you have to look at it is that none of this is short term. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but you know, just by being consistent and keeping the work going, keeping that content coming, we're going to get there. And, and the thing about it is, is that like, it's, it's great to talk about this right now. Um, I'm happy. I think you're happy to be able to like get to a certain milestone because you have to celebrate the wins, you know, big or small. Absolutely. Oh yeah. You and That's I have the- other, Oh shit. Not like that. You and I have talked about Instagram, the algorithm and motherfuck the, al- the algorithm so many times um, because this has been a struggle. It's been hard. Like, you know, one thing works that, come, that comes out of nowhere and the next 17 things don't work and you get like four views on something and yeah. coming into this like every single day and like not stopping, like, you know, there were a couple of days where like the alarm bells are ringing at like 10 o'clock. Oh crap. I didn't do a reel today and I cannot break the streak. Like if you break the streak, like what happens next? Do you do, you miss two days or three days? Like 
So I haven't missed one day. Sometimes I've done more than one. Like now it's like part of my DNA. Like it's just part of my routine and, and the ideas are flowing um, at random times. And so it's just so crazy. Like also your, you know, your background of habit building and strive for 25, like the whole purpose of strive for 25, you know, telling people or giving people examples of, you know, other people ha- who have done it, but also keeping that habit of celebrating the small things, you know, things you didn't fail, just lessons learned, like you keep going. And, you know, if something comes up, don't let it stop you. You just got to kick it to the curve and keep going. And then you made a good point about the whole algorithm thing. I hate the algorithm. It's horrible. But, you know, like I said, it's not necessarily beating the algorithm at this point. It's just finding the right strategy, being consistent keeping that habit and putting the content out there. I think that's, that's the lesson. I feel like it's every day. (laughs) I mean, learn more, more, more ways to do it, better ways to do it, to be more creative and deliver better quality content and visuals and things like that. And, you know, I don't know what happened. Like we hit a thousand on Thursday and today's Monday and we have already got over a hundred, you know, we're at over 1100. I was about to say, (laughs) yep. That's what I thought. It's just faster than the, previous hundred increments of a hundred. So I don't know. It's a snowball effect. Growth is not linear. It's, it's exponential. We say it all the time. Growth is just, it can just take off in the most random time. Right. Yeah. And the video you put the least amount of effort in, that's the one that's probably going to get the most views, not the one you put a lot of effort into or like the most random, random topics or, you know, random videos. Like you put, um, there was, one video you put out at the at the zoo but you put like the right words on top of it and it's like just keep getting all these notifications these people like you know interacting with this reel but hey it's content it's there quantity over quality that's where you gotta start somewhere we we were on our team meeting uh this morning and my you know mike swale um with the branch here uh he's obviously in california he's a niners fan and you know talking about, you know, the, the, as we're getting out of the call, talking about go Niners, they won the game, blah, blah, blah. And Mike's like, so I, I don't know if Joel, you know, did, didn't read the room, but the whole world's talking about the Niners game and Joel's out there tweeting about financial stuff and nobody cares about quote, quote unquote. And then <laughs> we all laugh. And then, but it's like, you know what? Like this, I don't, I mean, I care about football ish maybe, but like to be able to know that, like, I've trained my subconscious brain to be able to, to have this little bit of lane in my daily routine that will not stop. That it's so that this routine is so strong that it's not going to stop. And no matter what happens, I'm going to get the stuff done that I need to get on day. So it's just, it's just crazy how the brain works, you know, and, and you learn you know, how to be able to, to, to leverage some of the tools and for example, the subconscious. So, yeah. Uh, that, that also like that truly, makes you an entrepreneur is that you're always thinking about how you can make a change or, you know, be the change and that kind of thing. Like always thinking about ways that you can grow connections you can make to help you grow, listening to what other people have to say and having that open mind. And, you know, like you just said, you get into that habit, you get into that mindset and you keep it going. Like that's what they say. That's how you get to the top. Did did I just hear a Bruce Almighty quote? Be, be change you want a miracle <laughs> be the miracle <laughs> yes <laughs> we need more people like that you know especially in the entrepreneur world it's not easy like it is not easy by any means but we just the more you know being transparent in this industry and this field it's just you know it's it's interesting yeah i mean like the old saying, you know, do the work, you know, the old cliches, like, you know, got to put discipline, hard work, all these things. Like, like nobody tells you, how do you, how do you get discipline? How do you work harder? How do you work smarter? Like no one tells you how to do that, you know, nope. but that's one of the things that we strive to do on this channel is to, is to talk about that. You know, I'm like, you know, when I say, you know, harnessing the, the power of the subconscious brain, that's just one kind of description of something that we that we do on on this channel with the people that we work with and 
you know, when you put your vision in front of your mind every single day without fail, you're literally putting bumper lanes to keep you on track. You know, it's just one little, like we talk about the two minute rule all the time, right? That's just another way to be able to enact this kind of the other piece of training your subconscious. Cause when you build a habit, you're, it's part of, you're building this muscle memory, building this yeah. subconscious uh, algorithm in your brain that helps you, you know, make things simple. That's, that's what a habit does. It, it systematizes, you know, a routine or a process to be able to allow your brain to be able to work on and focus on other, other things that it doesn't know yet, you know? And so yeah. just, you know, the, I, and the two minute rule, you know, you talk about, you, you sit down, you set a timer for two minutes, you, you know, you have a task to do, you work on it. If a minute passes and like, you just, your brain just not, clicking right then and there, cut it off and try again later. And, you know, I honestly have, I've used the two minute rule once or twice before. Just, all right, sit down two minutes. Like if you can't work it out in two minutes, five minutes, then right now just isn't the time. And so, okay. like you said, building habits and, you know, what you just said about putting your mind in that mindset, that's just like, super powerful because once once you get in that mindset you literally can't think anything but that mindset and I me personally I've seen that within my own business is just not necessarily always having like that business mindset but like how you can do how you can grow how you can help your clients grow how can you work together as a team to help each other grow and that kind of thing I mean that can go across as friendships relationships you know clients business whoever it might be. So, but I think you're on to something, Joel. You're Ooh, this, time next, this time next year, I will be looking back and being like, whoa, did that really happen? Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, at, at this pace, um, we're going to hit 1 million downloads on the podcast in like 547 years. I've done the math. Um, <laughs> on And we'll be at a million followers. And I don't know, was it 74 years, maybe? No. It'll be so much sooner. I forget what it was. I think it's like 700 years. Um, <laughs> oh, praying for science to keep, to catch up very quickly. So uh, <laughs> I would just keep it going and pass it on to the boys, your boys, right? right? They can keep it going and right. then keep passing it on. <laughs> I mean, show like, you know, Mr. Beast didn't get over a thousand views on any video until he was seven years in. Yeah. Seven years. And now he's a billionaire or going to be a billionaire. I don't know. Someone, somebody offered him a billion dollars for his YouTube channel. And he said, no. He's like, no, it's my thing. I'm not going to take it. You're not going to buy me out. I'm doing my own thing. It's going to be amazing. Even more yeah. amazing. Than and that just goes to show again that this is none of this is like short term like people think it might be you're like you're in this for the long run you're gonna make goals along your timeline and you're just gonna keep building off of that and then one day you wake up and you're at a million followers and you're like all right we're getting to a billion next or <laughs> two million or you know three million you're again that mindset changes and you just always want to go up yeah I just think it's so important to, just to say out loud as we're talking about this. I mean, we're, we're talking about, you know, applying these principles of habits and mindset to social media. And, and these things can be applied to other things, whether it be finances or health or relationships. And we, we talk about that all the time uh, on the channel. Um, but speaking of social media and, and specifically, like mainstream media losing its traction, is losing, you know, its uh, ability to be able to attract the viewership. And happening in real time, you know, you know whether it be cable TV, the, the news, the radio, uh, the news stations, and the new currency. And this is something that, you you know, you, you hear about Gary Vaynerchuk talking about. And, and I, I, I can't remember who said the word currency, um, but they're talking about, you know, people's attention is the new currency. Your social media, your digital brand is the new currency out there um, to, to get to where you want to go and to be able to knock down doors. And so you can... 
you can come to these platforms and find someone that's going to give you the cold, hard, real truth that you may or may not want to hear versus all the mainstream, you know, you don't always get that. So I completely agree. I think it's a step in the right direction. I mean, digital in general, like it's just crazy. Yeah. How much it's growing. If you have a small business or, or you want to build a small business or have your own brand or want to build a brand, or whatever, and you're if you haven't started yet, if you're out there, you have nothing still, but opportunity. There's, there's nothing still but opportunity, but you got to stick with it and know that you, there's going to be bumps in the road. You just got to keep riding. You just got to keep going. <laughs> just yep. stick with it, no matter you know the hard days where you're like, man, this is tough. But in the end, you know you're going to look back and be like. Whew, like we're doing this thing I think about that all the time like a year ago is when I stepped out on my own and I was like like we're doing this and I can remember like one particular person in mind I was getting ready to book a trip and I wanted to book two trips back to back and she was like uh you'll be solo by then I was like no I won't no I won't and then there I was like eight months later and I was like man (laughs) This is crazy. And, you know, all the connections I've made along the way, but can't lie. Some days it's hard, but I know, you know, situations, conversations like this with you, Joel, you know, that's what like keeps people like me going. Like we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're just got to keep going. <laughs> I, I, it's so, I mean, thank you for saying that. But like you said before, like having your, your tribe, like building your own tribe, if you don't have one, like finding the people that have some of the similar goals are trying to get to the same place. And just, even if you don't know yep. where they are or don't have them, then go find somebody. So there is somebody out there that is willing to help you out. There's somebody out there that wants to pass on their knowledge to help the person that's, you know, two steps or two years behind where they were like, they're, they're out there. It's just, you know what? Like if I always tell this story to somebody else, like I never had a mentor in my real estate journey. And like looking back on it, what I should have done is go find the person and not stop if I found them. Like, don't yep. take your mind up. I'm going to go find a mentor. Just don't stop until you, until you find them. Ask a hundred people. Yeah. Whatever. And just being open-minded to what they have to say and be willing to learn new knowledge and processing it the way that, you know, you feel you need to like, Hey, you know, forming your opinion off of it while also learning. Does that make sense? Like yeah. learning new information, but okay, I see your take. You know, I I Morgan. love learning new stuff. You you have to like to learn in this whole entrepreneur industry. Yeah. Willing to learn, willing to sit at the table with people you never thought you'd be sitting at, even right. if you feel like the smallest one in the room. You're actually not. It's that yeah. you're there, sitting there, and listening, and that's what matters. Yeah. You know, uh, what's interesting we're talking about this is like, you know, we made a video a long time ago about like, you know, you know, people rooting for you. Like when you do the work, right. And you get done, like to do something, to work on your business or work on your project or whatever, homework, if you're in school, I, I was the, the worst procrastinator. I would wait till like the day passing the cram. Like that. I'm sure we've all been there, right? Like that's our, a lot of people, you know, like we wait till things are important or, or the deadlines there. <laughs> So to work on something every single day, even if it's for two minutes, right? Like it's it's not always in our, you know, uh, our DNA, so to speak, or it's not easy to do. And when you can do that, right? And you put yourself out there on social media every single day for a week, for a month, for six months, and people can start to see that regularity doing something and also like the evolution and improvement. Not to say that I've improved uh, a lot, but I have a lot more knowledge, but people... <laughs> for you they want you to do well like yes shot to me like cheer me on like and thank yep. you people for doing that like i need that like anybody that's getting out there doing something new you know typically will need that so you know keep yeah. that up and like if you see somebody that's busting their tail doing things consistently like boom give them that give them that and, like that's something that like even now that i've gone through this journey in the last six seven months like there's people that I see on either on Instagram or Twitter or like, I see somebody that's got 300 followers on, on Twitter, just posting. You're like, Heck hey, yeah. like, 
yeah. Yes, same. It's I follow quite a few people in the social media world that are like that too. You know, just just sharing. Like I shared a a post. This girl was verified, and I shared her post to my story. And she messaged me, and she was like, "Thank you so much for sharing." And I was like, "I was like, thank you. You know, you're rocking it." And it's crazy. That's another powerful thing about the digital world is that people are forming these communities and. We're just, everybody's growing. Like we said, opportunity is right in front of your face. You just got to take the opportunity and think, who cares what you look like? You know, there's going to be haters out there. There's going to be people who are like, ugh, scroll. All right, who cares? Like, we just got to do it and get it done because in the end, you'll be thankful and it'll take you places you never thought it would take you. 100%. Well, I know I'm holding you up here. Thank you so much for uh, spending some time together here. Um, we'll probably have to just just publish this. I and mean, this is this was way longer than I thought. It was like a two minute. Yeah, <laughs> you recorded it, right? Yeah, yeah you recorded. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Wait. All right. Well, well, sounds like a plan. Um, but to wrap all right. it all up, um, you know, if anyone's looking to. You know, even if you just want to talk about building habits or, you know, finance or real estate investing, Joel's your guy I'm telling you he is he's smart. He knows what he's talking about. He can help you build a plan and connect you with people in his podcast world or real estate world, that kind of thing, whatever you need. Ooh. And if you need social media, <laughs> you know who to call me getting there. Right. All right, Liz. Well, thanks again, and we'll talk soon. Okay. See ya. Okay, bye.